YouTube, this is gonna be a quick, quick one. Yeah, this is our Mr. Old School Rider right now. I'm just uh, showcasing some of these parts that I've been buying over time. I got these recently as well, within the last uh, couple weeks. I also bought these door lock actuators from eBay. Oh man, I forgot that guy's name. I don't even know what I did to receive it. Hey, oh well. They go good. Hey, I, I find I find your name somewhere. If it go bad, you know what it is. Man, you know I don't like China stuff, but hey, sometimes you ain't got no choice, man. I know some people say, man, why you ain't just go to the junkyard and just get you some off another car? I mean, that's a hit and miss sometimes. You got to break your door down and all that stuff, you know. They won't let you take your battery out there or some type of power source to test them out. So I just save, man. Oh, wow. Just go ahead and get the new ones, man. These are the old ones. This would happen on GM parts, especially. They use a lot of plastic back in the 1970s and 80s all the way up to now. You can't let your car sit outside. Time will tell you the truth. Don't please believe it. Time do tell you the truth. Look at this. This is why the doors don't, they get stuck out there a while or they just get brittle. Plus it's so brittle on here. I could probably break this if I wanted to, but. And this is the other side. This is on the right hand side. This door was actually stuck shut. It's been like that four or five years. I, I mean, I got a little rust on some of the pieces, of course, on inside the door. But it was, it was. I got the door to open. I had to. This was brittle. It wasn't that hard to break off. It was just plastic. It wasn't metal anyway. See, <laughs> that factory piece go had a little raised bells or whatever the heck you call it right there in the in the uh, raised area. On the new one, these are the new ones. I think I paid uh, like thirty dollars for both of these. Actually, my wife did. My birthday gift. My birthday actually was last week on the third. I'm on three. I'm thirty-six now. Unfortunately, no, I'm just kidding. That's all good. It's a blessing. Even though the new ones don't have that raised lip on the left side, but these go in the car okay so far. But I gotta do a little modification to the bracket. On a factory bracket, these actually just fall into place like this. Blooper. <laughs> Something like that, see? On the newer ones, you have to. I thought it was a defect or something, but other people say they had to make something work on it. They had some people to beat them on there. I'm like, okay, I'm plastic. What I'm doing my end, I'm gonna get my little drill bit. I'm just gonna uh, open them holes up. I'm gonna open those two holes in the middle up a little bit, these two, so I can get it in there. But other than that, they gonna work all right. This is gonna work out. Look at that. Sound good, darling. That's brand new. I mean, sometimes if you ain't got it, you can always go to the junkyard. I mean, spend your time and all that stuff on there, of course, to do it. But I mean, if you got like a couple pounds, you might as well just go ahead and just hit hit eBay, Amazon, or whoever got these parts at a reasonable rate, and not worry about it for a while. I mean, on the junkyard part, I mean, it can work for a couple of hours, or it can work for a couple of years, or you don't know. Well, no. At least you got a better chance that it lasts longer than that, hopefully. Depends on the manufacturer and the person that's selling it. But other than that, it's all good, man. It's coming. Old school ride, I'm out of here.